What's going on? I'm Mia Bell, live at the Cookies flagship store in New York City to teach you more about the disparities of minorities in the cannabis industry. No community has evolved the acceptance of weed in pop culture more than black people. From Bob Marley to Snoop Dogg to Rihanna, black people have not only made smoking marijuana cool, but influenced music, fashion, and politics. Despite this, the racial disparity in the world of weed is vast. Even as harsh laws against weed soften, the ACLU reports that blacks are close to four times more likely than whites to be arrested for marijuana. Though the rapidly growing legal weed industry will add nearly $100 billion to the economy in 2023, black people accounted for only 1.2% to 1.7% of business owners in the industry per Leafly's 2021 job reports. Still, black entrepreneurs are reclaiming ownership in the space. Outside of celebrities like Whoopi Goldberg and Jay-Z who launched their own or partnered with cannabis brands, top trailblazers in the industry include Chef Miguel Trinidad, the founder of 99th Floor, a cannabis cuisine dining experience. And Mary Pryor is a cannabis marketer and the co-founder of Canaclusive, a cannabis company created to facilitate their fair representation of minority cannabis consumers and so many more. While black people are still more affected by the ongoing war on weed, significant initiatives like the Cannabis Social Equity Program help by making legal cannabis business ownership and employment opportunities more accessible to individuals impacted by the prior criminalization of cannabis. If you're interested in getting your piece of this billion dollar pie, whether it's health or wealth, know your purpose for joining the legal cannabis business. Understand the laws and legal requirements. Get your permits and licenses. Raise capital from friends, family, and funding programs. Lastly, stay the course. The more of us who are in these spaces, the better. 